The Man in the Brown Suit Novel Summary in English Let's begin. Nadina, a dancer in Paris, and Count Sergius Polovich, both in service of the colonel, an international agent provocateur, plan to blackmail him to prevent him from retiring, leaving his agents high and dry. And Bedingfeld witnesses an accident at Hyde Park Corner Tube Station when a man falls onto the live track and picks up a note dropped by the doctor who examined the dead man which read 17.1122 Kilmorden Castle and a house agent's order to view Mill House in Marlowe, where a dead woman has been found the next day. A young man in a brown suit was identified as a suspect, having entered the house soon after the dead woman, and realizes the examination of the dead man was oddly done and visits the Mill House where she finds a canister of undeveloped film, and she learns that Kilmorden Castle is a sailing ship and books passage on it. On board the ship, and meets Suzanne Blair, Colonel Race, and Sir Eustace Pedler and his secretaries, Guy Paget and Harry Rayburn. Colonel Race recounts the story of the theft of diamonds some years before, attributed to the son of a South African gold magnate, John Erdsley, and his friend Harry Lucas. The friends joined the war where John was killed and his father's huge fortune passed to his next of kin, Race himself. Lucas was posted as missing in and and Suzanne examined the piece of paper and obtained in the underground station and realizes that it could refer to cabin 71, Suzanne's cabin, originally booked by a woman who did not appear. And connects finding the film roll in Mill House with a film canister containing uncut diamonds that was dropped into Suzanne's cabin in the early hours of the 22nd. They speculate that Harry Rayburn is the man in the brown suit. In Cape Town, and is lured to a house at Musenberg, where she is imprisoned but manages to escape the next morning and returns to Cape Town to find that Harry is wanted as the man in the brown suit and has gone missing. Pedler offers and the role of his secretary on his train trip to Rhodesia, which she accepts at the last second, and is reunited on the train with Race, Suzanne, and Pedler, who has a new secretary named Miss Pettigrew. In Bulawayo, and receives a note from Harry, which lures her out to a ravine near their hotel. She is chased and falls into the ravine. Almost a month later, and awakens in a hut on an island in the Zambezi with Harry Rayburn, who rescued her. And and Harry fall in love and Harry tells her his side of the story revealing that he and John were both in love with Anita slash Nadina who cheated them. Carton, her husband fell to the track on the shock of seeing Harry again. Harry admits that he is the man in brown suit but denied that he killed Anita. Harry's island is attacked, but the two escape, and and returns to Pedler's party. They exchange codes to be used in future communications so that neither can be duped again. She receives a telegram signed Harry telling her to meet him, but not you, and instead meets Chichester, alias Miss Pettigrew. She is led to Sir Eustace, where Pedler forces, and to write a note to Harry to lure him to his office. Harry turns up and Pedler is exultant until and pulls out a pistol, and they capture Pedler. Race turns up with reinforcements, but Sir Eustace escapes overnight. Race tells her that Harry is John Erdsley, not Harry Lucas. Harry admits that receiving a huge fortune worries him and that he has found his happiness with Anne, and they marry and live on the island in the Zambezi, and have a son. The End